Hello everyone, Pigeon here and welcome back to another Grading Returns. This time we have our Ace Grading Returns. So let's open this box up and see what's inside. So I've just finished recording my initial reaction to the grades and the slabs. And I've noticed a few things that I'd like to talk about in more detail. Uh, I've actually recorded... Uh, something afterwards. I was going to do this for a separate video, but I think it needs to be spoken about already So I'm going to include it in this video I'm still going to show my initial reaction to the grades and slabs But then I'm also going to talk about the issues and my concerns that I have and I'm to be honest I'm greatly disappointed with what I have found in my slabs So I'm still going to talk about my initial react show my initial reaction and my initial think thought on the grades and slabs, etc uh, I'm still going to show that and then we'll talk about the other things that I found. When I'm talking about the issues, I won't have my face cam on because I found them. I literally started recording the footage of that after I had turned off my face cam and moved it all back into its original position and put my setup back. So yeah, let's just go for it. Um, we'll start off with my re with the reaction and show you that, and then we'll go into more detail about things later on. So let's take a look. Brown paper in. There's no bubble wrap or anything, and then a bit of tissue around it, but. The slabs are in a box themselves, so that's not too bad. Uh, again, a bit more brown paper in here. And there is my submission. 10 cards, there should be. I'm hoping there's 10 cards there. I've seen a lot of great things about Ace, and I've seen a lot of terrible things about Ace. So let's untape these cards. I'm trying not to see the grades on the cards so our first card is a Reshirim Amazing Rare from Shining Fates now I did submit all the Amazing Rares from Vivi Voltage and Shining Fates and a Hidden Fates ETV promo so our first Reshirim or our first Amazing Rare we get we get a Gem Mint 10 as our first card so that's not too bad now I've seen one issue with the case already and you can see it, there's some slight bubbling near where the cards go. I believe that is where the cases are actually sealed together. I'm just looking around. See that there's the first uh, Ace label stamp. This is why I didn't submit full art cards. But other than that issue, and a lot, a lot of people aren't too happy with the bottom of the case as well. And you can sort of see why my camera won't focus on it. You can sort of see why. I think that's why they join the cases together. It just doesn't look too nice. Or it might even be something to do with the first stamp. I'm not too sure. But we get a 10 for our first card. That's not too bad, actually. That is a great card. I love Amazing Rares. Now, this one doesn't look to have the same issues that the restroom had. But it's a very nice case. A bit, a few lines coming down. But... Let's see what we get. We get another Gem Mint 10. Can you imagine if we get all Gem Mint 10s on all the amazing rares? That'll be a great collection. So we have another Gem Mint 10. So now we have Kyogre. Love the look of that card. Kyogre is one of my favorite, favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite legendaries. And this looks a lot better than the other two, actually. I don't know. Oh, this one comes in as a Mint 9, so we don't get the all 10 dream. What can we see that's potentially a nine? Maybe centering, it's a bit heavy on this side. Anything on the back, apart from my fingerprints? Anything on the back there? I can't, maybe a little bit of whitening on one of the corners, maybe? The slabs feel great. Like they're, they're nice and heavy, they're quite thick. They're very good quality. I just feel like the issues of I just feel like the issues of slabbing the cards in the case where you can get the little marks around the cards, that's that's my biggest concern because anything around the cards you don't really want to bother with or have to deal with. So we have now Jirachi, the mythical Pokemon from Gen 3. Lovely, lovely card. And we get a Mint 9. So we get another Mint 9 Ky uh, to go along with our Kyogre. I love the standard labels and I love the labels for the tens. We have got one ace label in this. Uh, it is our Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. 
Uh, next we have our Raikou. Now the, this is a beautiful, beautiful card. Amazing rares. I hope we see them again. I hope we haven't seen the last of them. And we have another Mint 9 Raikou. So this one, as you can see up there, that there's a lot more. I think it's just where the two parts of the slab come together. It might be like some glue or anything. But if it is glue, you don't want that anywhere near the slab. And there's a little mark there. That's not a hair. That's not on either side of the case. That is in the case itself. So it's not quite the high quality that Randolph had promised in his thing. And if you look down here, I can't see. Look down here, that's not a mark from me. There is a mark on the case there as well. So there's a couple of instances where we're getting just little errors coming through. So we're getting a couple of instances on our cards where there's a little bit of, it's not damage on the cards, where it potentially could be if the glue gets on the cards themselves, but it looks like where the two bits of the slabs come together, it's leaving some sort of indent or it's chipping the case somewhere. And that is a big concern because you don't want that anywhere near your cards really. So next up we have, oh, we've got the Celebi. The Celebi Amazing Rares. So what Amazing Rares have we got left? Uh, Zacian, Zamazenta, and Rayquaza are our next one. So we've got Celebi here. And Celebi comes in as a Gentmin 10. Let's rub off my sweaty palms. So that is lovely. That is a great card. Lovely case there. No marks on this. Oh, where is there? Yep, top left. So there, like, it seems to be on every case we've had, we've got a slight mark. So next up, we have our Zamazenta. Oh, I'm gonna say it again, I love Amazing Rares. And we get a nine, mint nine, on our Zamazenta Amazing Rare. So it's not too bad. I, I, I agree, I did say, I don't think, I don't know if these will come back as 10s. The one card I want to come back as a 10 is the Zapdos Moltres and Articuno, because that is a beautiful card. And I've got the Ace label on that. So if I could get a 10 on that, that would be beautiful so now we have we had Zamazenta and now we have Zacian oh, look at the shine on that amazing rare and that is also a nine so that's not too bad pack fresh cards you can't guarantee the gem mint tens so to get nines is all, all amazing I think the next one might be uh, the ace label so there we have it this is the one I really want to be a 10 if we can get a 10 on it we have got the ace label on here. So let's have a look. Please be a 10. Yes! This is the one I wanted to be a 10. We get Gem Mint 10, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX. Let's take a closer look at that ace label. That is an absolutely stunning ace label. And this is the reason, one of the reasons why I think ace will eventually solve all the problems. Because a lot of people love the labels. Their ace labels are absolutely fantastic. My only criticism of ace and their ace labels they should have got them all made before launching. And then our last card of the submission, we have one of the most popular amazing rares in Rayquaza. Beautiful card. We haven't had a normal 10 in a while. We've got Celebi was our last 10 for a amazing rare. So can we get a 10 in Rayquaza? And we do, so there we go. We get another Gem Mint 10 amazing rare. Looks good. Cases are fantastic, I must admit. The, the actual weight and feel of the cases is all amazing. The concerns that I have, and it's not about focus, is these issues here with the cases. Little chips marks, little marks. I don't know what's causing them. Hopefully Ace know what's causing them because that is my biggest issue. I'm not too fussed with the marks on the bottom because you don't look at the bottom of the slab that often. So I've just been actually finished rec recording the video and I'm actually just going back over looking at some of my slabs. And you know I said how on the Glarian, Zapdos, Moltres and Articuno there was a little mark on the case here that I'm pointing to. I can't get a closer image of it, but that's actually someone's hair. Someone's hair is actually encased in the slab. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
how on earth that got there. But quite frankly, that is quite disgusting and I'm gonna be mentioned I'm gonna be contacting Ace regarding that. And I've looked at some of the other slabs and they all seem hairless. But I'm definitely not happy with that at all. Uh I wonder if it's Randolph. I wonder if I can make some money off it and say it's Randolph's hair. But no, um, it is someone's hair. I can't actually get a better look at it because my camera won't focus. It's not a crack. And look, uh, when I held this slab up to the light, there's a lot more issues that came through. So there's a lot more smudges. You can't actually see them here on my camera, but there's smudges in the case. So I think that's changed my mind on whether I will use Ace again. Definitely not. Not after this. I'm gonna wait to see what they come back and say about submission, uh, this submission and a hairpin in the case. But I definitely won't be using Ace again after this. Uh, the case, the slabs are nice. The labels are nice, and I don't disagree with the grading. The issues I have are the quality of the case and the obviously hair that's in my slab. So with the Rayquaza. The main concern for me is the slabbing up here. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, there's loads of chips about, I mentioned it when I saw the gray, uh, the card itself. Um, the side looks okay. And then the bottom looks okay as well. So for Rayquaza, it's just the top up here. However, there is issues with almost every slab I've gotten. And is that another hair? In Celebi there. Do you know what it might be? It might not be a hair at all. I think it is definitely a hair on my Moltres, but it might potentially be glue. It might potentially be glue of where they're gluing the slab shut, which if they're using glue to slab these together, that could potentially ruin your cards if you crack these open, which is a big concern. A big, big concern. Um. Let's have a look through the other cards more closely because so Reshiram it's just got chips again. Reshiram just has chips on the case again around the card. And yeah, I'm not I'm I'm not happy with the the cases themselves are amazing without the chips. But with the chips, yeah, I'm not too happy. Uh Yelp at all again, chips at the top of the card. Big big marks at the bottom corner. Sorry, my camera on my phone is not good enough to film up close, so apologies for that. But yeah, there's massive marks on the corner. It's not on the case itself. There is the, a chip down the bottom, and then the bottom where the corner is, it's just massive. It looks like actually condensation. Uh, yeah, the backs look all, all right. I'm very disappointed with this. Very, 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 very disappointed. Uh, my initial reactions were all positive, but... There's just so many chips and marks. You don't expect this from a high quality grader. Um, I'm gonna be contacting Ace regarding these issues and regarding the slabs because that is not good enough in my opinion. Even on the Jirachi, there's a massive. See, Jirachi even has it on each corner, whatever these marks are. So I'm thinking it's glue because surely it can't be a hair in this many slabs. Unless they've hired a literal poodle to do the slabbing, it's gotta be glue. So yeah, I'm not too happy with that at all. Uh, Zamazen, it doesn't have any hairs. Um, but yeah, more, more little marks on the top of the slab up there, which is just, just not good enough. The, I'm not even bothered by the bottom of the slab. Not even bothered by the bottom of the slabs. That, that's minimal compared to me. The stuff around the cards, that's the stuff that uh, is more worrying for me. Once again, it's more up here, visation. You can see little marks there. I don't like this bit of the slab either. Like, why is there a why is there a mark? Why is there a, a bit where the two bits of slab meet together? If I hold it up to light, look, you, look at that case. The inside of that case on the left hand side. That's not on the case. That's the actual case inside is filled with dust and specks and yeah it's just it's just not good enough 
It's just... These, these are literally just how they've come to me. That's not on the case, that's in the case. Um, yeah, and then Raikou, once again, more concerns up here. Let's see, yeah, initial reactions were positive, and I tried to gloss over the issues that the slabs had. Thankfully, I didn't send any massively valuable cards off, but I'm definitely not over the moon with the case issues. Grading, I have no issues with the grading that they've done. I do believe that these are all, all 9 and 10 cards. I have no concerns with the grading. My concerns are with the issues in the case themselves. And I I have a theory about this, I think, because initially when Ace was launched, they had no mention of the Ace uh, shield slab at all. It was only a last minute thing they announced before they actually launched. I wonder if they had ordered these slabs before they got any feedback from fans and they just went sod it, we'll, li we'll have run a limited edition run because it was meant to be a um, first month only thing but they're still printing them in these slabs once they reopen submissions again. So I think they've ordered too many of these slabs and they didn't want to take the loss on these slabs and then they've made all the improvements. So we'll, only time will tell I guess but I'm perfectly happy with the grades that they've got but there's so many issues with the actual cards themselves. And if anyone has graded at Ace already, let me know what your opinions are of your cards that you've had graded. Some of them look are better than others for me, but yeah, I'm just, there's so many issues and that I'm just disappointed by, but that definitely looks like a hair, but uh, it's on so many cards, surely it can't be a hair. I hope it's not a hair. So if I just lift that up, look at how many marks are on that case, on that left side. But bearing in mind, this has only been out in since the time I've had recorded to the video. The right side's much better. So either left, my left hand is absolutely filthy, which I, I highly doubt. But look, what is that? There, it looks like a hair, but surely not because it's on three of my cards. Right, so I've got four cards here from the submission, and they all have one of these marks in their top corners. Now, I don't know if it's glue, it looks like a hair, but it well could be glue. Drake, she's got one in each corner. It looks like a hair, but it well could be glue from where the slabs are sealed shut. Unless they have a literal shedding dog slabbing these together. Now, I love the look of the slabs. I love the look of the labels. It's just the overall quality for me. Uh, this, I'm sorry this has now turned into an extremely long video, but yeah, I'm happy with the grades, happy with the labels. It's just the quality of the slabs together. Like when they're slabbed together, that seems to be the issue. The, the actual slab quality of itself is amazing. It's nice and thick like a CGC slab. It's actually thicker than a CGC slab, but it just doesn't have the clearness. It, there's, there's marks everywhere. I'm extremely, extremely disappointed with this, and I've contacted Ace regarding these issues. I've just got to wait for a reply. Any reply I get from Ace, I will share on my Twitter. So stay up to date with me on Twitter, and that's all I can say for this. If if you're looking to grade with Ace at the moment, I'd stay away. I would highly recommend staying away until they have their issues resolved. If you have cards you want to get graded, send them to CGC, BGS, or wait for PSA. For now, I definitely won't be submitting more to Ace. Definitely, definitely won't. Uh, hopefully, Ace's response to this will be quite positive, but I'll let you all know. That's as much as I can say about that. I love the look of the labels. I have no issues with the grading. It's just the quality of the slabbing when they actually seal the slabs up together. Other than that, everything's great. Uh, I've been Pigeon. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.